Peplink has released a new version of their Max BR1 Pro 5G router. Come join us to find out what new feature this router has that we're so excited about. Hi, I'm Dan from the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So the Peplink BR1 Pro 5G first came out about two years ago. And since then, it has been one of Peplink's single modem flagship models during that time. Now, if you recently watched our other video from Chris showing the big brother, the Max BR2 Pro 5G, you probably are aware of what we're about to share. Like the big brother, the BR1 Pro single modem model got a major update with the latest Qualcomm 5G X62 modem. So what makes us so excited about the X62 5G chip that's in this router? Well, compared to the previous X55 generation chip, this is a major leap forward in the 5G evolution. As mentioned, this is now phase two of the 5G evolution. And we've been talking about this for the past year or more. Uh, we've seen hotspots and cellular devices, phones come out with these latest chipsets for the past year or more. But devices like these routers take a little bit more time and a lot of money to get certified, but they're finally here and that's why we're so excited. The advancements of the X62 modem chip allows for three-way carrier aggregation, which is going to give you much higher theoretical peak speeds. It also allows carrier aggregation between low and mid-band frequencies. By allowing, by combining these spectrums, you can get more reliability, speed, and performance by taking advantage of long-range cellular and more mid-band, higher throughput cellular and combining them together. One of the largest uh, improvements of this chip is it now has support for AT&T's Andromeda Spectrum, which the previous X55 chip did not support at all. So for AT&T customers, this is a huge upgrade for them that want to take advantage of the latest AT&T mid-band spectrum. From the outside, this router is going to look identical. It is still in a very sleek and thin metal case, very durable. It's got heat sink built into the top of the case for passive cooling. Um, it has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities still, uh, 802.11ax. If we come around to the antenna side, as I mentioned, it has a 5G X62 cellular modem, which is the latest 5G Phase 2 evolution. It's going to have four cellular antenna ports and one GPS port. It comes with the PAL antennas to hook up to this, or of course you can hook up your own 4x4 MIMO external antenna to it. It does feature the nano SIM card port, which is really nice for the smaller SIM cards. Uh, it has two SIM card slots, but because this is a single modem model, only one of those two SIMs can be active at a time. As we come around to the other side, we've got three Ethernet ports. We have a 2.5 gigabit per second WAN port. We have two one gigabyte per second LAN ports. And these can be configured in the software. You can make the WAN, the LAN port, or you could have all three LAN ports depending on your uh, desires and needs. It has two Wi-Fi antenna ports. Again, it comes with paddle antennas for those, or you can hook up to an external antenna. There's several um, antennas that have the 4x4 MIMO plus the two Wi-Fi and the GPS all built into a single antenna. It does have a plug-in type power port that supports both an AC adapter and it comes with the plugs to make it a DC option also. So you're probably asking, what is this new router going to cost with this latest X62 modem chip in it? Well, the good news is, is that Peplink is not raising the price, and this is still going to come in at $9.99 at your various retailers. Now, since this model is not very distinguishable from the previous model, you're going to have to make sure you do your homework when you're going to purchase this to make sure you're getting the latest generation modem chipset. The only distinguishing feature between the two is in the part number, and there's going to be a dash 5GN for the X62 model. Just like the BR2 that Chris went over, um, it's going to be the same thing. 5GN for the X62. The previous generation used 5GH for the US or 5GD for a global version. So uh, 5GN in the part number will guarantee that you get the X62 modem chip. Some retailers, such as our partners at Mobile Must Haves, are distinguishing between the two variations on their website, but you can't promise you that all retailers are going to do that when they sell these. If you've been waiting to upgrade your Peplink router, well, the time is finally here, and we have two models, the BR1 Pro 5G I have in my hands, single mo modem 
model for $9.99, or as Chris showed in the other video, the BR2 Pro with the dual modem setup for $28.99. Uh, these modems are going to make it into other routers and their lines, but these are the two that they started with currently. If you currently have a Peplink router, then one of the neat options is you can continue to use your current router and add this one into the mix. And using Synergy mode, you can combine them. You can combine the previous cellular, maybe it's an LTE router, maybe it's a previous 5G generation. You can use it as a wireless access point. You can do Wi-Fi as WAN. A lot of great features by combining them using Synergy mode. So your previous router can still be of use for various activities. If you are a member with us, our members get 10% discount on hardware through our partner mobile must-haves. And we are going to be testing these new routers head-to-head -head with previous generation 5G routers and kind of show you what kind of differences you might see out there in the real world while using them. Uh, we'll, we will have a testing in progress thread on both of these routers, the BR1 Pro 5G and the BR2 Pro 5G, in our forums for our members to take a look at and look at the differences and see which one may fit you, may fit your uh, needs better or budget, and um, which model you know you may decide to choose. So look for these updates on our testing in progress and how these routers are performing us and for us in the coming weeks. Thanks. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.